I think it's the ultimate recycling project. You know, I mean, you take a house that was scheduled for demolition that's 107 years old and turn it into something that's going to live another 107 years. So I think that pretty much defines sustainability. It's just nice to add this to the neighborhood. At first, people were upset that we weren't restoring it. It's like there wasn't anything to restore. The house just got gutted and was put back together, preserving the envelope that was there. The building is going to be seven different apartments. It's a hundred year old building, so a lot of changes have to be made, basically upgrades and updates. When we moved it, we didn't know what precisely we'd be doing on the inside. And so the architect and the engineer have been working since pretty much the house got set down at creating the interior plan. Yeah, I need to revise the details about where the hold downs are, because one's okay. right now is coming down out here, one's coming down here. with rough framing, just doing pickup, and we're doing mechanical rough in at this point. So we have plumbing, the majority of which is running cast iron uh, pipe to keep sound attenuation levels down. Uh, we want to uh, minimize the sound transmission between apartments. Uh, mechanical uh, venting going in, which is the, the metal pipe venting the dryers, and there'll be vents for bath fans. The HVAC contractor's here today, the heating and cooling contractor running line sets for the mini split heat pump system, which is a very efficient system. So the fiberglass part of the insulation is, it's just that, it's fiberglass insulation, there's no formaldehyde so it doesn't off-gas the formaldehyde into the building and it has a fire retardant in it. Uh, upstairs is a closed cell spray foam that has a higher R value, the insulation can be thinner and it insulates better, but it's also more expensive, so you don't do the whole house. You just do the areas where you need more insulation with less space. We have to change things structurally for the fire and life safety. So with seven different units, if there is a fire, it has to be contained in each unit. So we add things to the walls to keep the fire in here. Uh, the insulation adds a sound barrier between the spaces and between the floors. And then the plywood on the walls adds shear strength. So if an earthquake comes, the 100-year-old building can withstand the earthquake. So it's been upda updated from its previous state. Basically the new insulated windows just fasten into the existing frame. Um, they get caulked up, sealed up, and uh, you get the you know, R value out of them for the upgrade. The house itself is the, the amazing part, but in order to keep that going, I mean, even the small parts have to work too. They preserved the artistry that had gone into the house to begin with and updating it to its current condition. There's still a lot of resources going to saving the house in general. Keeping the structure sound and keeping it looking to the period that it was keeps the integrity of the building. I've been all over the world and all this stuff that is being torn down and it's irreplaceable. We don't have the expertise, even architecturally, to recreate something like this. It's a vision that we've lost over time. So this in a small way kind of solves some of it. It sets a precedent that we can do new development, we can do density, we can do sustainability without having to tear out what was there before. 